Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu and by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, we've got a great game going now between Defiance and Delphus Jefferson High School is our score right now. Delphus Jefferson with 30 points and Defiance, you have 40. That means you will lead the second round. You have five questions worth five points apiece. And please buzz in with your answer, okay? Which C word designates thin, wispy clouds that are the highest in the sky? Yes. Cirrus clouds? Cirrus is correct. Name the 31-mile Manhattan subway line made famous by a Duke Ellington song. The Lincoln Highway. Yes. Uh, the Lincoln Highway. That is incorrect. The A train is what we're looking for. All right. What part of the body does ossification refer to? Yes. Bone. Bone is correct. On which island is Guantanamo Naval Base? Yes. Cuba. Cuba is correct. And here's your final question. In the song, tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree. From where is the person returning? Yes. The first Persian, Wa Persian Gulf War. That is incorrect. The answer is prison. All right, turning now to Delphus Jefferson for your five. <coughs> what term designates a tax or duty on imported goods? Yes. Tariff. Tariff is correct. Give the Japanese term for an intentional suicide attack. Yes. Kamikaze. Kamikaze is right. What galaxy was declared in 1991 to be a barred spiral galaxy? Yes. The Milky Way. You are correct, the Milky Way. How many edges does a pyramid with a square base have? Yes. Eight. Eight is the answer. And your final question in round two. What G word designates a novel in comic strip form? Yes. Graphic novel. Graphic novel is it. All right. Great job. Okay. Our score now. We have a tie. Both teams with 55 points. Our final 10 questions. This will determine who moves on to the championship <laughs> game. All right, here we go. Both teams ready? Get those buzzers set. What animal of the Chinese zodiac governed 2011? Delphus. Tiger. Tiger is incorrect. Defiance, you want to try? Yes. You're the monkey? That is also incorrect. The rabbit is what we're looking for. All right, number two, give the four-letter word that is the form of acting without speaking. Delphus Jefferson. Mime. Mime is correct. In 1946, what kind of curtain did Winston Churchill? Delphus. Iron. Iron curtain is correct. Moving on to question number four. Identify the popular name for the investigation department of the London Metro Police. All right, teams, the answer is Scotland Yard. All right, question five. Which word designates using a more pleasant term for a harsh one? Yes, Delphus. Euphism. That is correct. All right, moving on, question six. Identify the city and the team that is named for an Edgar Allan Poe, yes, defiance. The Pittsburgh Ravens? That is incorrect. Delphus Jefferson, yes. Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore Ravens is correct. All right, number seven. Name a gray cloud that obscures the sun and is layers of water, rain, or snow. Yes, Delphus Jefferson. Cumulonimbus. That is incorrect. Defiance, you want to try? 
Yes. Nimbus. We will accept that. All right, very good. Moving on. We have three questions remaining in your game. In which Kipling work is there a character named Ricky Ticky Tavi? Defiance. The Jungle Book. You are correct, The Jungle Book. Identify the form of a fantastic creature that adorns Gothic cathedrals. Defiance. Gargoyle. You are correct, the gargoyle. And one question remaining. Rome replaced which Italian city as the center of the Renaissance? Defiance. Florence. Florence is the answer. All right, we have a tie. Both teams with 95 points, and this is a sudden death round. So, Dolphus Jefferson and Defiance, we're going to take question number one in our sudden death. In what South American country is the Atacama Desert? Delphus Jefferson. Chile. Chile is the answer. All right, congratulations. Defiance, thank you for putting up a great fight. You uh, should be very proud of yourselves. And Delphus Jefferson, congratulations. You'll be moving on to the championship. And we will be right back to see Finley take on Coldwater. Don't go away.